Christmas. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We got an all-time line. Bumble's hot toys and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. Because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell along, we are together. Yes. So every year, Heather and I spend absolutely way too much on each other for Christmas. Honestly, I think you spend the right amount on me, but I spend way too much on you. And 2022 was no different. We bought each other so much Do you think people will get it? That like, you don't fucking deserve anything and I deserve it all? So Heather and I bought a lot of for each other for Christmas. To add to the other shit that we already had, now we just have one big pile of And you're the cherry on top of it because you're also sh Merry Christmas, everybody. Was that, like, too rude? I don't know. What do you think? I mean, do you think it'll be funny, or no, is that, funny. like, really Oh, it's pretty bad. I mean, you say that you can, like, floss your teeth with my mustache. I've never said that. You I said that. I floss my teeth with your mustache? <laughs> you said that. No, I did not. Yes, you have. I said I could floss my teeth with your mustache? I mean, that's true, but I don't think I've ever said that. <laughs> so we're going to show you the gifts that we gave each other this year that equals right around or more than $1,000. And by the way, one of the items you will not see because we're currently returning it. Because Chris is never satisfied with anything that I buy him. Heather bought me a new chair to edit all of our videos, and I hated it. And then we bought another chair, and I hated it, and we're sending that back also. So before long, I'm going to be editing our videos on the floor. Just so you're aware, he picked out each of these chairs, and he's still not happy. Before we get into all the joys of Christmas, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content like this right here. And make sure to head over and join our Patreon at patreon.com slash castlecast. We have a bunch of awesome perks that you get in return for subscribing. Every month we go live with our supporters and we give away a bunch of stuff. We also talk all things Castlecast and Mischief Toys. And sometimes we show previews of our newest ghastly figures. Head over to patreon.com slash castlecast. All right. So who's gonna go first, me or you? Uh, do you want to show like one of your cool gifts that I got you, or do you want to show one of the gifts that you bought me that's probably gonna be returned? It's not gonna be returned. I'm gonna flip it on whatnot. Oh, great! So let's start with you, and then we'll go back and forth. I got Halloween three, season of the witch figures, and they're amazing! These might be my favorite Christmas gift. I love Toonie Tears from NECA. So a lot of people probably haven't seen Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. It does not have Michael Myers in it, but the movie is fantastic 80s schlock, and I highly recommend that you go and check it out. Is it like a schlong? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm in. In the movie, there's a mask company that makes a bunch of masks, and there's going to be a certain time on Halloween where those masks basically kill the children wearing them. So these kids are wearing those masks. And they're gonna die! Watch Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. It's f***ing awesome. And morbid. So Toonie Terror figures are really great. Yes, they're a bunch of like horror or horror-esque figures and they look like they're inspired by cartoons, which is amazing. We have probably like 15 or 20 of their figures. So one thing to know about Toonie Terror figures, they don't really move around so much. They're sort of like little statues. Their arms move a little bit. Sometimes their legs move, yeah, but, but they're they not supposed to be posed. Yeah, they don't really make much sense when you move their arms and legs around. Yeah. Can I just say that I really love that witch? Do you want to know why? Why? Because that's me when I kiss. Yeah, okay. Heather, why don't you show one of your items? It is the FYE exclusive Stranger Things lounge fly, and I am so in love with it. I love this bag. It's so much fun. It has all of the D&D &D characters on it. It has some dye. It has weapons. This is amazing. Not only that, but there's like a Demogorgon with what looks to be a die in it. Yeah. But it says ST for Stranger Things. This is just beautiful. If you've never owned a lounge fly bag, they are so well done. Yeah, it even has more in here as well. And I did see, there it is. So there's the face from the Hellfire Club. Oh yeah. Look at that, it even says Hellfire Club over top of it. So yeah, this is the Hellfire Club bag from FYE. It was an FYE exclusive. It's sold out in a flash. So I had to find this thing on Macari. I spent like double the cost of what you would have purchased it for at FYE. My baby's worth it. Well, thank you. So you better use this thing a lot. 
So Heather got me a product that I've never owned before. She got Nendroids for me, and I've never owned a Nendroid in my whole life. Nendroids are something that you can find a lot of the times on Hot Topic. Hot oh, really? Topic carries a lot of these. I've seen them on Amazon and other toy web pages. They're like little tiny versions of the characters. So in this box, it's Winter Soldier and Rocket the Raccoon from Infinity War. And in fact, they want you to have Winter Soldier hold Rocket the Raccoon up in the air as he's shooting his gun. Yeah, because remember that scene where they're like hanging out together and yes. they're like spinning around or yes. whatever? Yes, and that's exactly what this is from. I yeah. like this. This is pretty cool. So this thing comes with all sorts of stuff. It looks like a little instruction booklet in there, but I, I'm not worried about that. Oh, hold on. It's... Okay. Oh, God. Oh, my God. His little arm came off. Is it not attaching? No. I just broke the gun. Just kind of snapped the magazine. That's okay. Okay, we're having some technical difficulties. We're trying to figure out how all this works. Well, you didn't want to pull out the instructions. There we go. Whoa! There we go. <gasps> he broke his torso in half. Hold on. Put his tail back up his butt. How, does this like go around him? Like what the f do you do? It goes over his shoulder. Wait a minute. What? You put this on the back of the gun. Oh, that's the back? No wonder it wouldn't fit. Oh my god, Heather, you're breaking my figures. Oh, okay, you broke the magazine. Shut up. All right, so there they are together. Rocket and Winter Soldier. They look cool, don't they? How is he holding Rocket? There's got to be a way. I just broke it off. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, you broke it even harder. I did? This was so expensive. Was it? Yes. This is a balancing act. Oh, no! I have effectively broken this thing. It's so f***ed up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it won't even set up anymore. Yeah, because you f***ing broke everything. <laughs> oh, this there. <laughs> that's the best I'm going to get. It lasted for two seconds. All right, so that's, I'm done. I don't think I'll buy one of these ever again. I, I, I'm too, I'm too destructive for this. Do you have any super glue? I think we're going to have to fix this. Yeah, we have super glue in the kitchen. Oh my God, I cannot believe I broke this. I can. I got the Brickheads Professors. Oh yeah. We have Snape, McGonagall, Moody, and Professor Trelawney. I am so excited to build these. I have never built a Lego on my own before. I think this is gonna be the first one that I do. So look at all these that Heather bought me. These are all handmade by robots figures. They are handmade by robots micros. Micros, okay. Yes. So they're all different Scooby-Doo villains. We have the Creeper. We've got uh, the Captain Cutler, Phantom Shadow, and Spooky Space Kook. And then she bought me this. Is this a glow-in-the-dark creeper? Yeah. And it's limited to 480 pieces. Okay, ho, 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 ho. Okay, does it not look like he's holding a hog? <gasps> does that look like he's holding his hog? Let us know in the comment section down below. I believe he's holding his own hog. So these are hand numbered. So this is 87 out of 480. That's yes, awesome. right by his butthole. Okay, so he's obviously holding a button here, not his Oh my God, that's insane. That might be the most insane glow I've ever seen. He's incredible. Look, it's lighting up my hand. Yeah. Wow, highly recommend that you pick this up if you're a Scooby-Doo fan. These are really cool. This is really cool. Okay, so I noticed something really interesting about this. So, like I said, it's above his butthole, and okay. it says 87 out of 480. But on the earlier numbered versions, this is a limited ghost face. Oh, they put it on the tag. Yeah, so they numbered it with some sort of marker, and it, like, bled a little bit. So my guess is that's why they put it okay. on the actual vinyl rather than this pliable tag. So this isn't a Christmas gift, but it's something that I purchased for myself. So I got a mini Reagan from The Exorcist. Look at her, she has her vomit, she has some like scars, she's amazing, but look, her head is on backwards. Oh, that's so cool. 
I got another lounge fly. This is one I've been wanting for a long time. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. This is a cool bag though. I never actually got to see it up close and personal. I literally wrapped it and put it inside of a box as soon as it got to our house. It has a green little, what would you call that? Like a plaque? A placard, yeah, know. yeah. And then inside it says Beetlejuice has a bunch of beetles. And of course it has his signature black and white striped outfit print. This figure is awesome. I don't know if you've ever watched the Creep Show TV show that's on, what is it, Shudder? Sure. That character is creepy as Yes, he is. Oh my god. And he's just as creepy in action figure form. You ever see how they like strap these figures down? I am it's not a fan so of that. It's so crazy. It makes me feel like I'm going to break something. Look, look at this. Look. Look. I think you're supposed to get like scissors. Okay, well he's not coming out. He'll come out a different day. But I love this figure and we'll have him positioned somewhere behind us standing on a shelf or maybe even in your room. If you open up where his chest is, he actually has like a skeletal sort of chest where it's like all falling apart and shit. Look, you can see a rib cage and everything in there. Oh, he's creepy. I oh, like Oh, that's so creepy and cool. Is it, what's, does he have a Chris! I want to see how far in detail they'll go. Oh, that's so gross and gnarly and I love it. Okay, so my last collectible gift is a big one. Astronomy Tower! Now, is this something you actually wanted? I picked this out completely random. I didn't know what Harry Potter Lego castle to get you. Give me all of them. Look at all the things that are happening on this playset. It's unbelievable. And by the way, I was looking earlier. Where is it? Look at all the minifigures that you get. Look at them all. You get Hermione, Harry, Malfoy, Ron. Wait, who's that? Is that, wait, is that Ginny? That's gotta be Ginny. Okay. I think that's Ginny. Okay. Lavender Brown, Luna Lovegood, Neville Longbottom, Draco Malfoy, Horace Slughorn, Ron Weasley, Hermione, and Harry. Well, uh, you said there was another Weasley girl. Where's she? No, I lied. It's Lavender Brown. Oh, you don't know anything about Harry Potter. They look like Legos, Chris. And last but not least, Heather got me this zombie Deadpool. Look at this. Isn't that cool? You got this opening part here, and then you get to see the zombie Deadpool inside. We're going to pull this motherfucker out of the box. We got to see what he looks like out of the box, Heather. Okay, I don't know if we're going to go through all this, but there's a stand that comes with this, and it looks like he's like the front of a comic book. This figure comes with all sorts of stuff, and I don't think I'm going to be able to cover all of it in this little unboxing video and, and Christmas video, but we'll at least take a look at this figure and some of the items that he does come with he comes with something that like makes me really excited and that's this squirrel squirrel pool the zombie, zombie squirrel, squirrel pool. pool oh my god oh, oh my, my god he's so amazing he's wild oh yeah and look there's his butthole there's a lot wow. of really great deadpool figures but i just love i love zombies so much i'm happy that my first Deadpool is a zombie. I love the detail on his outfit being like ripped apart. Yes, look at this. Look at all the, the wounds. There's a wound right there. And his pants are torn apart. There's a wound there. Oh yeah, he looks all torn and up. And why couldn't they There's tear right here? Whoa. And he actually wow. comes with a different face as well. You could pull off the jaw on his face and replace it with this one. It also comes with a zombie Deadpool stand. These are for his um, swords on his back. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yes, he comes with all sorts of cool weapons. He comes with so much. I don't even know what these are. I have to, I'm going to have to look and see what all this stuff is. It probably has to do with the comic cover. Yeah, I think like it does. To like make the things like... Like stick out and 3D. be like kind of 3D. Yeah. yeah. He comes with these awesome looking handguns. Did you just call them ham guns? Handguns. Oh yeah, he has the flying Deadpool head. So I don't know much about the backstory of this particular character. I don't know much about Marvel Zombies. This actually came with the Funko Pop as well. I'm sure if you've read the comic, you know exactly what the hell this is. If you do, comment down below, and therefore I will now learn what all of this is. And then you got his signature katanas, and there's a sheath for them to go into. It's magnetic. Oh, it's magnetic? Oh, look, that's awesome. So it's magnetic, it goes right on his back, and then we can slide the swords down inside there. Boom, now he has both of his swords on his back. That's badass. I love it. And then he has a grenade that goes right here in the front. He's ready to rock and roll, got that grenade, got his little knife down here in his boot. Oh my God, look at him, he's amazing looking. I love all the, his feet look almost like broken or something. Oh yeah, look at him. I love his eyes. His eyes are so creepy. So what was your very favorite Christmas gift that you got? All of them that I showed. You don't have one favorite? No. One I... that stands out among nope. 
I really love every single one equally. After messing with this Deadpool, this might actually be my favorite thing that you, you got for me. I think he's badass. I'm glad you like him. I love him. He's so interesting and different. Totally different than any of the other Hot Toys that I own. I love that he's zombie inspired. Heather, we missed the greatest part. Does that not make the figure look so much better with an arrow going through his head? Well, I didn't think it could get any better, Heather, but it did. Yeah, especially because it's not broken like your Winter Soldier. I have a feeling I'm never going to live that one down. No. Nope. So let us know what you think about all of the Christmas items that we gave each other this year and more in the comment section down below. And what was your favorite... <sighs> Hold him. And what was your favorite Christmas gift that you received this year? We want to know all that and more in the comment section down below. If I put my hand on that, I'm pretty sure I'm going to break that too. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patients from Patreon because they're so amazing. In this video, we would like to shout out to Frank Gast, Darth Stevie, Marky Tony, Funko Fan 626, Moondoggy 16, Eddie Hamill, Richard Perez, Calvin Lee, Derek, and Tino Maldonado. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. Thank you again to all of our patrons. You guys are amazing and we appreciate you. Remember as always, we hunt together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.